What are we going to play with? Oh, let's play Shaker. Two years ago, Rex Valadakis Baytar moved his family from Sydney's east to the inner west. We wanted to move somewhere that we could A, have a bit more space and B, hopefully afford to buy in a few years. But since then, the median house price here in Earlwood has climbed 66% to about $1.8 million. At one point during COVID, um, we were saving sort of $800 a week and the median house price was going up $9,000 a week. For Rex, cost isn't the only consideration. He lives with cerebral palsy and needs a single storey without stairs close to work. I can't drive and I can't catch public transport, which means I have to get Ubers and taxis uh, into, into the city when I, when I work in the CBD. Mm. In Melbourne, Peter Malley can sympathise. I suppose we put a wall across there. A spinal cord injury last year means he now uses a wheelchair. He's had to sell the family's two-storey home to buy something more accessible. Moving from a fairly efficient two-storey design on a small block of land to a much bigger block of land, which unfortunately for me puts me in a whole different price bracket and um, really dictates where we can go. It will likely need to be modified, which could take up to 18 months. That means that you're paying for rent and you're paying for mortgage. The National Disability Insurance Scheme can provide financial assistance for the modification or even the purchase of a home, but getting the funding can be lengthy and difficult. And the vast majority of people in Australia who live with a disability aren't even registered with the NDIS. I think we've taken the wrong tack on housing. We don't see it as something that's a fundamental of life. We see it as an investment. For now, Rex is waiting, saving and hoping the bubble might burst. Ruby Cornish, ABC News, Sydney.